Okay, we're getting the car packed up yet again. Tambi and I are going down to wrap up the purchase of this boat and I don't know, Molly doesn't seem to be all that excited about it for some reason. What's going on, Molly? Huh? I'm leaving. <laughs> Tambi and I are just running down to Green Cove. It's just gonna be a two or three day trip. And again, there's just not a good spot for Molly to sleep on the boat and we're gonna be dealing with the owner and moving his stuff off and signing papers and all this stuff. It's just not gonna be much fun stuff for Molly to do, but we're de definitely gonna be getting you involved when we're uh, doing boat work. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a lot of help. Okay. We don't like being separated from you so much. Let's stay together more. Mm -hmm. Like three peas at a pod. Yes. Like peanut butter and jelly and bread. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. See you in six months. No. Not six months. We're going to the Bahamas. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Love you too. You're, you're, how far are you gonna run? To the stop uh, sign. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh. Come on, Molly. Come on, Molly. <laughs> I love you. All right, give her one more hug. <laughs> love you too. Love you. Love you. All right, bye, baby. bye, kiddo. See you in a couple days. Bye. Call me. Okay. <laughs> We've been joking with her that we're going to the Bahamas without her. <laughs> she freaks out. <laughs> Who said we're joking? <laughs> 24 hours later. Inside this manila folder is the bill of sale that is signed and notarized by both ourselves and the owner well no 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 previous owner of the boat so we have bought ourselves a sailboat folks there she is right there look at that we actually own a boat now how do you feel about that good i feel very excited about it buddy ready to Get this stuff out, get her clean, make her ours. Uh-huh. So right now, kind of the status is that the owner has gotten all of the stuff off that he wanted to keep. However, there's still a, quite a bit of stuff left on there. So now we have to go through it and decide what we want to keep and what we want to get rid of. Um, I don't know if I'm going to bore you with uh, that kind of uh, process, but... That's what we're going to be doing the next little while, and then we'll circle back around once we have everything mostly cleared out of there. Sound good? Sounds good. All right, one thing we do want to get, though, is our first step onto the new boat. So hang on, Tammy. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. All right. Are you ready for this? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, nice job, honey. Look, you are on your boat. I know. Wait, wait, get me, get me. <laughs> All right, ready? Yep. You ready for this? Ready. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. All right. The suspense is killing me. All right, all right. Okay, here we go. Ta -da! Ta -da! We are on our boat. Yay. Holy crap. We have so much work to do. <laughs> Six and a half hours later. So a really difficult and uh, uh, physically demanding day has just occurred, uh, but we didn't show any of it because we've just been knocking it out. It's hard to set up a camera when you're just trying to bust things out and get things done. And it's not really exciting stuff. We were literally hauling out garbage bag after garbage bag of just the, the previous owner's stuff. And we have we have just about filled up a four-yard dumpster uh, just unloading stuff from this boat. So uh, we might go actually go by the dumpster. I'll actually show you. It's kind of impressive. 
Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I didn't think it was going to be that much stuff coming off the boat, but I should have known. It's amazing how much stuff gets packed away. Yeah. I mean, even in Sampley, you know, we when we took everything off of her, we raised the water line. Huh. Well, if took things off, that'd be lowering the water line. Yeah. <laughs> Cut that. Tammy's a little wore out. <laughs> I'm wore out too. Mm -hmm. Hard day. All right, we're gonna get back in here tomorrow and kind of give you a walk through of things and show you some different projects that we are gonna be working on. There's a lot of stuff. There's, I mean, hundreds of to-do list items on a list that we've put together, uh, but some key projects, kind of the priority ones that we need to accomplish in order to get this boat back on the water is the stuff we're really gonna be talking about tomorrow. So we'll get in here, get in here, give you some details about those projects. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we'll talk about that stuff tomorrow. <laughs> but we're boat owners. Woo -woo. Hi. Hi, Molly. <laughs> this is Daddy and the rest of the world. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I, I wish you were here with us, Molly, while we so we could uh, be seeing the boat for our very own boat right now as a family together. But mm -hmm. unfortunately, yeah. you're not here. Okay. Yeah, well, no, you could sleep in the V berth or the dungeon. What I, I think no. it's listen. It's just a matter of. It's just a matter of. No. no. <laughs> you just have to imagine. I'm with you, I'm sleeping in your room. Oh uh, well, okay. Well, we can work something out. <laughs> I, th I think. Right there. I think we'll probably put you right there. Until you, we can put your room together. <laughs> we we miss you, Molly. But hey, we own a boat now. Yay! We really wish Molly could be here with us, but she had to stay home again. It was just, you know, it's a hard decision because it's just, there's nowhere for her to sleep and it's just loads of clutter and we were moving out the owner's stuff and dealing with the purchase and, you know, it's just, just not much fun for uh, for an 11 year old kid. So she stayed at home, but Tamby has given Molly the, the kind of a tour of the boat with it being kind of cleaned out. Alright, tour is complete. <laughs> Alright, see, see you later, Molly. Okay, see you later. Love you. <laughs> Love you. Alright. Ben and Tamby of Sailboat Story coming to you from <gasps> our own boat. <laughs> 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 All right, we own the boat now. The purchase is complete. But uh, what we want to do now is kind of just walk through this boat again, pointing out some of the big priority projects uh, that we're going to have to be working on. Mm -hmm. There's one or two projects, right, Tambi? Or three or four. Hundred projects. <laughs> yeah, there's loads and loads of them. Now, one thing I want to kind of bring to your attention is that we do have an Amazon wish list. Now, what we're going to be using that Amazon wish list for is basically uh, a, a way where, if, if you want to, you can help us out with basically some of the supplies that we're going to be needing, you know, for, for putting this boat back together. Paint and epoxy and fiberglass and brushes and rollers, and, you know, just all kinds of stuff like that. So if you want to help us out with some of these projects, check out our Amazon wish list. Mm-hmm. Right? Right. All right, so how are you feeling about all this stuff, uh, Tammy, now that it's actually a done deal? Good. I feel good now that it's mostly empty and it's ours and now we can clean it and make it home. Make it our own. Yep. Yeah. It's going to get a, a lot messier before oh, it I starts know. to look beautiful though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's well, got to get worse before it can get better. That is true. Yep. All right. So let's talk about some of these projects. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's start outside. Okay. All right, we'll start up here on the bow. Now, this is an area where you probably already know of one big project that has to occur, and that is moving this windlass. So this spot right here is where the old windlass used to be, and we want to relocate this one up into this area somehow. Um, that's going to mean some humongous holes are going to have to be filled back here. And, uh, you know, everything that goes into relocating this windlass, it's going to be some work. But that is one big project for sure. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. We, gotta, we 
got to get all the chain that's in the V-berth out so we can fix Molly's room. Uh-huh. Yep. And right now, currently, this thing is basically dumping the chain directly into that V-berth or what's going to be Molly's room. So that's one of the biggest reasons this has to be moved. Yep. All right, this area here of the cap rail that was damaged uh, when the previous owner ran into a piling. So all of this is going to have to be, you know, filled in probably with some kind of wood, you know, slash epoxy product, something like that. And then I'll just fare it all back down and try to blend it in. That's another little project. Tambi is going to be constructing a stack pack for the main sail here. That's going to be interesting. Yeah. Already got all the measurements we need, and we just need to order all the things that I need to make it. Yeah, material and all that. Material and zippers and all kinds of stuff. I'm sure it's going to be very nice, though. Yeah, I'm excited. So you see, this boat does have a decent dodger on it. Um, you know, the other thing is the boat actually came with a, a full enclosure back here, bimini and the, you know the side curtains and everything else, and the the frames. Now it hasn't been installed. I'm not sure if you can. It's actually down there in front of the boat. Yeah, yeah, I think you can see the bows down there. And then, uh, you know, the rest of the canvas is inside the boat, but it's never been put onto this boat. It was actually purchased from uh, a sister ship of this boat, meaning, you know, the same, you know, make and model, but, you know, a different boat. So we got to get all that stuff set up and just kind of see if there's any interference with, like, you know, the, the main sheet back here, the boom gallows or anything like that uh, but yeah we're, we're gonna try to make that that old bimini work with this old dodger at least to you know get rolling yep all right this floor that we're standing on here it's a kind of plastic uh, docking material you know that kind of synthetic stuff it's a real good material but it actually raises the floor of the cockpit by about two inches as you can see here with my with my noggin next to the boom you know, the, the, there's really not standing headroom here under this Dodger anyways. So I really don't want the floor raised even more. So we're probably just going to be pulling up that flooring and, uh, you know, just, just chuck it for now. And I don't know, just probably just going to be getting rid of that flooring altogether. What do you think, Tammy? Yeah, it looks nice, but... <laughs> it just... It just doesn't serve much purpose that I can yeah, see, you know? It's just dirty under there. Yeah, just, just, just traps floor. a bunch of grunge down in there. I just don't see the, how it really adds value, so we're going to be getting rid of that. All right, this is another little project here. This little box for the engine control panel. You know, it's just got this loose little piece of glass here that's supposed to slide up in these slots. However, it just fits way too tight, and the slots are kind of half broken, and the whole thing needs varnish anyway, so I'm going to be rebuilding this box into something that will work a little mo better i think and maybe, keep all this stuff protected i was thinking maybe a little uh shorter if you can because that's Sh really a shin uh, yeah shin shin, shin bruiser shin bruiser yeah all you know it comes out quite a bit further than it really has to it just needs to clear this key and it comes out about three inches past that key so it can really be streamlined and kind of made into a low profile box so that's kind of what i have in mind with that now, before we go inside the boat i actually want to show you a couple things outside the boat all right so a couple things out here on uh the hull here so uh whenever the owner you remember that broken piece of tow rail or cap rail that's over there on the other side well whenever the owner hit that piling he also went up against some rocks that were somewhere nearby that piling so there's some pretty deep gouges here uh on that's the port side of the hull there and then a few other lesser ones here on the starboard side so those need to be filled in kind of fared out and cleaned up put some more bottom paint on there shouldn't be that big of a deal but that's another project that has to happen out here um you know kind of the the basic stuff has to happen out here there's some areas that need touch up paint on the top sides uh, really good buffing and waxing uh, but generally things look pretty good out here this bottom paint is not that old i mean less than six months i think uh but I, I think it's okay it's got some little little tiny baby barnacles on there but not that big of a deal so i think we're just going to roll with this bottom paint for now all right what's happening in here lots of stuff 
A lot? Yep. No. <laughs> yeah. Where do you want to start? Um, I guess we can start here and move our way around. All right. So, Lead the way, TJ. So we don't have any cushions here. Mm -hmm. So Really throughout the boat, we're going to be redoing the upholstery, right? Yep, all the cushions. Yep. So we do here have... Here and... So the cushions that came on the boat are these kind of things. Uh, and they are way worn out. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the upholstery itself, I'm actually kind of surprised how good of condition the upholstery itself is in. Mm -hmm. However, the foam inside them is uh, in real bad shape. So we're just going to use these as templates and make new ones. Yep, and then we need cushions for the seats here. Uh-huh, the... all, all the way around. Yeah. Uh-huh, yep. so Tammy's going to be doing some upholstery projects. Lots of sewing. Mm-hmm. Yep. You're going to do some how-tos, some tutorials, some things like that. Sure. Yeah, you know, I think it would really be great if you would do all that in your bikini. Mm, I don't think so. Uh, okay. All right, so while we're right here standing in this area where the fuel and water tanks are, I guess I should talk about that. If you've been paying attention to the channel uh, and you watched the whole little series when we moved this boat from West Palm to here in Green Cove, uh, you're aware that we experienced some fuel tank problems. Uh, those fuel tanks especially the ones on either side, the port and starboard side saddle tanks, they don't look great on the inside. They don't leak as far as I can tell, uh, but the, the welds, especially in the bottom of the tank, look very suspect. So rather than go after the, you know, I, I don't want to have to replace these tanks. It's an astronomical project for this boat to, to replace the tanks. However, uh, what we're probably going to do is open them up, cut some new access ports in them, and I'm gonna I'm going to apply an internal sealant to those tanks. And uh, right now the product that I have in mind of using is a West Systems product called G-Flex 650. It's a reinforced epoxy that works really good and kind of uh, I mean, it's just really tenacious stuff. It bonds to things that, you know, normally don't, doesn't uh, take a bond to epoxy. And um, it also stays very flexible and it can work with, uh, in, in, you know, an environment where there's different kinds of fuels. So that is very likely the product we're going to go, go with, G-Flex 650. In here is the bow of the boat. This is the V-berth, and you've probably already seen this space. Now, it looks pretty crazy in here, but, uh, you know, we're going to get it put back together. Again, see the windlass? Dump of the chain right in the middle of the V-berth? That all has to go. So I got to take this windlass apart. I have to fill these holes, and I have to do that so that I can start putting the ceiling back in place and the walls back in place and redoing all this stuff. Then we're going to mount that windlass further forward behind, the, well, in front of that bulkhead where it should have been put in the first place. So, yeah, but this is one big project. This is essentially Molly's room. So, yeah, got to get all this stuff put back together. Yeah, that's going to be a big one, but it's an important one. While I'm right here, we're going to get this toilet out of here. This is a brand new marine head, brand new valve, and there's a brand new holding tank under there somewhere. So we're going to be pulling all this stuff out of the way and putting a composting head in here. I also want to figure out how to get this shower working. So in here in the salon, we have, just have some major like cleaning and repainting and general maintenance, I guess. The floor, you know, some of the holly and stuff's coming out and there's it's just yeah this it's got a big this area of floor over here must have gotten wet i suspect probably from that port light i suppose because that one looks the worst of all the port lights on the boat that one leaks the worst so at some point water got on got in here stood on the floor and just kind of rotted out the the holly strips in this mm -hmm. side okay so let me explain well, I was going to say, let me explain this contraption, but I can't. <laughs> so let me just show it to you. All right. So this was kind of one of those, one of those strokes of genius that, that some previous owner had. So this is all the little, you know, instrument guys, compass, wind, speed, depth. And uh, it's mounted on this swing out swivel platform. And it's set up in a way where it can be turned and put up against this window so you can see 
Well, the only one you can see is the depth, and you can't even see any of these up here at the top. Now, one of my favorite parts about this amazing piece of uh, technology here is the uh, these circles that you see here are actually Minute Made um, orange juice bottle caps. <laughs> so if that if that gives you any idea of like uh, you know the sophistication that went into uh, you know. I, I don't know. My, I, I just, I can't even hardly talk about this. It's just, it, there's just a lot happening there. But that, that whole thing is going to have to go bye-bye. And, uh, you know, I, I like having a second uh, depth gauge. There's two transduce, transducers on this boat, which is great. There's kind of a backup. A lot of these, I don't know. I honestly don't even feel like we need them. I'm going to leave the instruments up, leave all the wires hooked up. I'm just going to take all these, uh, you know, displays off for now and probably just mount uh, a chart plotter where it can be swung out so you can see it from the cockpit and then swung back inside so that you can see it from inside. I just, I like having that chart plotter inside the boat so that you can see your, your path and, you know, it's just nice in the middle of the night to come look at the chart plotter and be like, oh, okay, you know we mm -hmm. are where we thought we were instead of dragging across the anchorage somewhere. Mm -hmm. So part of this I like. I like how it can swing inside and outside, but... All right, here around all these breakers, this is a... this is actually a much bigger project than what it looks like, because there is all kinds of insanity going on with the, uh, the wiring on this boat. Uh, so let me explain just real quick what I mean by that. The wiring itself in this boat is actually done pretty well. All the wiring has been replaced. It was just replaced by a madman or something. I, I, I don't know. I don't really understand. The, the way they're labeled and the way they're set up, it just doesn't make much sense. Like you turn on some, you know, one of these breakers that, and you expect it to do uh, something along the lines of how it's labeled and then I don't know for instance you'll turn on like the bilge pump and some fan will come on and like the other end of the boat now you know different kind of crazy stuff like that uh, so we're gonna try to simplify and kind of apply some common sense to a lot of this wiring and to just try to sort out some of these electrical issues so that it makes sense right yeah it's just some crazy stuff going on mm -hmm. The funny thing is, even though it's kind of crazy, we actually kind of understand it at this point. Yeah. We just have to be like, okay, got to turn on the lights. So we like, I don't know, we flip on the water pressure or something like that, you know? Well, for, okay, so example, the, the one that's labeled sump pump. Uh -huh. Okay. That's the bathroom light. That's the bathroom light and the fan, <laughs> and there's not even a there, sump there's pump not in a, the bathroom. There's not a sump pump. <laughs> so, yes, that's a great example, Tammy. Yeah. So there's that. <laughs> good, good job. Yeah. So cr crazy, craziness like that. We got to work that kind of stuff out. Uh huh. All right. So we have three nice size closets here. Very excited about that. Um, but they're hanging closets, and one, only one of them has a coat hanger rack in it. Uh -huh. So, um, but I don't hang things. We don't need things that are hung up. Yeah, Tammy so just wads them up. I don't wad them. I fold them nicely, <laughs> and they go in baskets. Oh, maybe that's me that wads them up. It's you that wads them up. <laughs> so, I want to put shelves in at least my closet. Ben can do whatever the heck he wants with his. <laughs> but I want shelves in my closet so I can put my baskets in there. Uh -huh. So my closet, Ben's closet, and then I figured yeah. we can use this one for like, yeah. um, <laughs> we can hang things in there. Our jackets and life jackets and stuff yep. is the plan. Uh-huh. Yeah. Should be pretty easy to put some shelves in there though. Yeah. Just going to have to make some measurements and make it happen. Yep. What projects are happening back here, baby? So right now it's two beds, as you saw in mm -hmm. our other videos, we're sleeping mm -hmm. I Love Lucy style. There are boards that you can fill this in with, yep. mm -hmm. um, but I mean, there's so much wasted space when you do that. So we plan on kind of removing these, this wood here and building a nicer platform mm -hmm. and then getting mattresses that are, or a mattress that's sideways. And no, 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 that's the wrong word. What? A thwart ship. Whatever. <laughs> okay. We're going to be sleeping sideways in here. Yeah, okay. So, that's the plan. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Yeah. All right, so the next thing we want to talk about is actually 
directly underneath Tambi's bottom. Okay. All right, so there is the steering. This is the rudder quadrant. There's the steering cables and all this stuff. So we have all that opened up and we also have opened up the floor right here. So you can see the prop shaft and the shaft seal. So there are several projects that are all related to each other right here. All right, so there's some play in there somewhere and I think I know where it's coming from. So this is kind of the arrangement down here. But when this thing is clunking around, the quadrant is moving and the stuffing box is moving. So I think what has to happen is instead of the stuffing box being connected to the boat by just this rubber seal, I think that the stuffing box needs to be actually fiberglass directly to the boat. That way the stuffing box will actually be acting as, you know, a support for the top of the rudder shaft. That's kind of what I think needs to happen. And while all of this is a part and this is being, you know, replaced or, you know, properly mounted or shimmed up or whatever needs to happen, I'm going to do some, uh, some uh, preventive maintenance on all of the steering system here because you can see all of these uh, sheaves and wheels and pulleys and all of that stuff that makes the steering work. I really want to check that stuff out good and be sure it's, you know, really good to go, really strong. All right, can you see all that stuff, babe? Mm-hmm. All right, so these are the cables for the steering, and then underneath it, here's the propeller shaft, and here is a kind of traditional stuffing box packing gland. I would like to replace this with a dripless shaft seal. So that's one thing on the list. We had one of those on the previous boat and it just worked really well. Plus this sucker is leaking, you know, badly. And, uh, I, I, you know, I just think it, I'd rather have a dripless. That's what it comes down to. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing is the cutlass bearing needs to be replaced. I can't, I can't really, I'm having a hard time demonstrating it, but hopefully we don't have to drop the rudder in order to do the, the quadrant repair and shimming up the rudder back here. But this, this is kind of a whole other area of the boat that's kind of, you know, related to each other. So all these projects are kind of related. And then up in the V-Birth, some of those projects are related. Like I got to move the windlass in order to put Molly's room back together and, you know, such as that. So, so that's a kind of a basic rundown of kind of what we're going to be working on on this boat. It's... That is most certainly not a all-inclusive exhaustive list of anything, you know, of, of all the projects, but it kind of gives you an idea, especially of the main ones. And then into addition to that, there's lots of, you know, little detail stuff that we're going to be working on. But mm. yeah, anything else you want to say, Tammy? Mm. No? No, we need to, oh, we didn't talk about solar. Oh. We, we need to put solar on. Yeah, we're going to be putting a couple solar panels <clears throat> on there. Uh, we're, we're trying to not get too carried away, trying to really focus on the main projects that's going to get us back out there on the water the quickest and make this mm -hmm. boat safe and reliable. And then, you know, we'll, we'll be working on it along the way beyond that. But yeah, we want to get some solar on there for sure. Yep. And uh, the, yeah, the list, let me grab that, grab that piece of paper right there. Yeah, so, so there's a whole page of to-do list stuff. There's two more pages of to-do mm -hmm. list stuff. This, yep. Is there something else? Oh, that's that's, that's kind of Tamby's own little to-do list stuff there, yeah, shopping got... stuff, stack pack measurements. We got a whole little folder of uh, all kinds of things that we're going to be, <laughs> yeah, working on and going after. Well, uh, but yeah, I, th I think that really wraps it up. Uh, again, you know, if you want to help us out with some of these projects, we're trying to we, we're trying to use that Amazon wish list as kind of a a materials list to mm -hmm. to you know get a lot of these little things to just help help fuel these projects mm -hmm. so consider taking a look if you want to maybe help us out with some of this stuff amazon wish list we'll put a link below the video mm -hmm. or uh but yeah this is what we're going to be working on yep all right close it off honey let's go home get molly uh -huh. and then we'll come back ready to work <laughs> yep all right guys thanks for watching we'll see you next time bye <laughs> bye we hope you enjoyed the video. We wanted to take a minute to welcome aboard some new patrons. So welcome, Old Man and Miss Mirage. Barry. Adine. Vernon. Kevin. 
friends afloat. Thank you very much for becoming new patrons. We really appreciate it. And in addition to that, some other people have sent us some things off of our Amazon wish list. So here's what we've got. David sent us a mosquito screen. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> mosquito screen. Thank you, David. Uh, bilge paint from David. From Wesley. <laughs> oh. <laughs> bilge paint from Wesley. Wesley. All right. Nice job, Molly. <laughs> All right, we have some navigation lights from Charles. Thank you very much, Charles. And then from Ian, we have a few different things. We have a second mosquito screen. So now we have both screens for both hatches on our boat. So thank you guys for that. And then uh, also from Ian, what is that, Molly? Mini rollers, paint rollers. Mini rollers, very handy. And then also a tube of 4200. Really good stuff, very multi-use. Can use this stuff all over the boat so thank you very much ian thank you very much for your generosity and thank you for watching and sign up to become a patron if you haven't already and check out that amazon wish list too mm -hmm. that's a huge help really but yes. Th thank you guys so much regardless if you're a patron just a regular viewer liking the videos whether you're sending us stuff on amazon whatever thank you very much for your support yes, all right you. sign us off molly bye <laughs> bye <laughs>